Hello everyone. So we will go for our next topic. Our next topic is structures. In every programming language, we always listen this term structure. What is structure? A structure is a collection of fields or columns. It can be of different data type or similar data type. Suppose I'm saying I have a structure, suppose ZEMP, it has two columns, an EID, E name means employee ID, employee name. Employee ID is numeric 10, employee name is character 40. In this case, my structure is a collection of two columns of different data type. One is numeric and another is character. Now, suppose I'm saying I have a, another structure, ZEMP1. I have two columns there, employee ID and employee salary. Both are of numeric type. So in that case, my structure is a collection of columns of similar data type. So what is structure? A structure is simply a collection of fields or columns. Now the question comes, we already created the tables and tables are also a collection of fields and columns. Whenever you created the table, you gave fields or columns in the table. Then table is also a collection of fields and columns, then what is the difference between a table and a structure? The difference between a table and a structure is a table has data or record or rows. A structure does not have any data. Both are collection of fields or columns but a structure has structure does not have any data but a table has data in the table we put the records we put the contents in the table we put the records in the table but in the structure we cannot put the record or we cannot put the data now in sap we have two types of structures which we will create with the help of SC11. So we have two types of structure. The first type of structure is your include structure. And the second type of structure is your append structure. Anyways, we'll go for practical part of this. So what is include structure and what is append structure? Include, it is a reusable structure. Means you will create only once this structure and you can reuse at several places. But append, it is not a reusable structure. Include, you can include the insert structure at any point, means Whenever we will create the include structure, we will insert at any point. But append always, always insert at the last. Suppose I am saying I have 10 columns. So whatever the columns I will add with the help of append structure, it will go after 10 only. Append structure always, always insert the columns at the last. Now, include, it is only, only applicable to customer specific tables. It is not applicable to SAP specific tables. Means we can go for include structure in those tables, those who have the name starting with Z or Y, 
only in those tables customer only on those tables include structure is possible it is not applicable to sap specific tables now append structure you can append in both type of tables the name starting with z or y or name is not starting with z or y we'll go for the summary what we discussed in this particular video a structure is a collection of fields or columns of same data type or different data type the difference between a table and a structure is a table has the data a structure does not have any data we have two types of structures in sap which we will create with the help of sc11 first one is include structure and the second one is append structure include is a reusable structure append is not a reusable structure include you can insert at any point but append structure always insert at the last include structure is applicable for applicable only for customer specific tables means name should start with z or y it is not applicable to sap specific tables but append is applicable for both type of tables sap tables as well as customer specific tables now we will see a exercise and we will achieve that exercise with the help of include and append structure we'll go for exercise this is our structure exercise now what this exercise is we have three new columns now delivery number delivery date delivery location this is the data type and the length and this is the possible values for delivery location delivery number numeric 12 delivery date that's it delivery location character 3 and these are the possible values for delivery location in our order header table these two and these three columns are already present means 2 plus 3 5 columns are already present we will add these two and one three extra columns to the table by using include and append structure so whatever exercise is we will add delivery number and delivery date to order header table by using which structure include structure we will add delivery location to order header table by using which structure append structure then we will regenerate the table maintenance generator and we will insert the values of these three additional columns so this is our exercise now just we'll go for again same process whenever you want to go for the columns in that table you have to firstly check how many domains or data elements you will create firstly i will go for domain we have not created any domain of numeric 12 so far order number was numeric 10 so we will create a new domain of numeric 12 we will not create a new domain for delivery date because we already created the domain for order date that's it we will use the same domain we have not created any domain as such for delivery location we will create a domain of character 3 because character 3 we have not created any domain as such 
so we will create two domains one for delivery number and one for delivery location now these three are totally new descriptions there is no description as such in the past so we will create three new data elements so we will create two new domains and three new data elements and we'll start with our exercise in the next video that's it in this particular video thank you